hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i will show you how you can build a text to speech application using react so that means you will enter some text and it will generate the speech for you so here is the application that we will be building today so if we type something here and if we click on the speak button hi there how are you you can see the audio is being played so we have different option which is that we can change the language using this checkbox and we can also change the rate of the speech so right now it is 0 0.1 if we want to change it like this this is fine and if we want to change the language suppose this thing and now if we play the audio hey bhar, how are you you can see that the speech rate has been changed and also the language that i mean the voice that voice has been also changed so yeah that is the application that you will be building today so if you are interested then make sure you watch till the end of the video i hope you will learn something new so now let's get started now here in this application we will be using this package known as react speech kit we will be using this uh, package and this package gives us a hook called use speech synthesis so using that uh, hook we can get a function called speak and we can invoke the speak function and inside the speak function we can pass an object and in that object there will be a property called text and in that text we can pass some string and whatever string that we are passing think that string will be it will basically speak that string it will generate, uh, it will generate the uh, speech for that string so yeah we will be using this package and we have the documentation here you can look into this so i have created a blank react project using vite and i have started the local server so you can see if we refresh the skin so local server is running now okay the first thing that we will do is that i have to create the ui so i will quickly create the ui here so i have created a heading and i will add a text area where user can enter some text and we will also create a button so if we refresh the screen so yeah, our application ui is almost ready now the next thing is that we will be installing that package i need to install that package let me stop the local server npm install react speech kit okay there is an error so basically if you read the error you can see like so basically this is expecting a react version 16.8 okay but our current project version is that react version is 18.2 so to fix this error we have to uh, rerun that npm command along with this flag this one or this one so we'll be doing that so it is running and yeah now this time the application i mean the package has been installed so let me start the local server once again okay so i have started the local server once again so the first thing that we have to do is that we have to import that use so what is the hook name so uh, this is the hook this is the hook that we will be importing from the react speech kit so let me copy that and we will be using that hook and this hook uh, returns as a uh, basically we can extract a function called speak from this hook so let me do that and one more thing is that so here whatever user is entering here this field in this field so we want to catch that so basically uh, i want to create a state for that so i will create a state called input text and i have to import the use state as well okay and uh, what i will do is that whatever user is entering in this text area i want to store that in the input text okay so now whatever user will enter in this text area in this text box that thing will be storing into this input text field now the next thing is that we want to create a function that will basically generate the speech 
so I will create a function called handle speak now inside the handle speak I will be using this speak function so let me do that speak and this function takes multiple parameters so one of the parameter is the text so we can pass a property called text and in that property we can assign like what is the text value that we want to pass it so in this case we will be passing input text and now it will generate the speech for this uh, input text so basically whatever user has in typed in here that thing will be uh, generating a speech for okay so now I will be adding it on click so that means whenever this button is clicked then I want the speech to be run okay so I think it is almost done so let me go back to the application and let me refresh the screen and typing something here we click on speak hi there so you can see we can uh, see that the audio is being played now in this uh, thing in this uh, speak function we can there is another property called rate so that is basically the speed of the voice so I can pass a value called like 0 0.8 we save that if we refresh the screen if we run it hi there you can see the audio speed has been the voice speed has been increased so this is one thing so our application is basic application is working fine but there are a couple of things that I want to mention is that uh, right now we have only you know one voice okay so suppose you want to add some multiple voice so that option is not there in our application as of now another thing is that we cannot really change the speech I mean we cannot really change the speed of the voice so if we want to do that so i'll be showing you how you can do that as well so first of all let me try to give the option to user the user will able to uh, switch between different voices so now we want to add different voices as well so right now we have only one voice but right now so we want to add some more voices to us okay so this thing we have a uh, so basically this hook provides as a another property called voices so inside that we have the all the voices so I will just show you let me console log it and if we open the console log here if we refresh the screen if we typing something here click hi there screen, you can see we are getting an array so if we expand this so this is an array of voices so whatever voice the so what are the what are the voice that uh, this package supports that voice list we are getting in the array format so if we uh, expand this this is the voice if we expand this this is another voice so I want to uh, give the user to choose from different type of voices so for that first of all what I will do is that I will create an index and uh, now the next thing is that so what are the voice that we have this voice I want to show them in a drop down format so let me create a drop down component I mean let me so create a drop down for that and inside this select we will be creating the option so first of all let me create a default option and after that we will be looping through the voices and show them in the drop down format so basically what we have done is that we have looped through that uh, voices array and this array has a property called name so we are using that name as the key and uh, we are using that voice index so here we had created a voice index so you are using that voice index as a value now if we try to see if we you can see there is a drop down component so if we click on that we can see we are getting different types of voices so now the thing is that so now whenever user select some voice we want to store that so for that we basically we want to store that into this voice index state 
so for that i will be creating on change so basically what we have done is that so whatever value user is choosing from this drop down that value you know so that index basically that uh, the index of that voice will be getting that in this thing in this case now there is one thing we need to change actually so basically in this case we want to pass the index not the voice index so that means whatever index that that voice has so that array index will be storing here and here we will pass the value as voice index so and that is because so from here so in the on change what we are doing is that whatever value that user will choose so that index number so that index number will be storing here uh, in this voice index and we the hence we have set the value as voice index here and now let's try to test it so i will add a console log here voices voice index and if we refresh the screen here if we choose any voice okay so it is saying value property cannot be null okay so we can add it here if it is null then we can set an empty string there okay now let me refresh the screen if we choose any language okay yeah so see we are getting that voice here so yeah so it is working if we choose this thing yeah so you are getting that bad news yeah bad news that is a voice name so yeah so you are getting that voice name so whatever voice name that user is choosing you are getting that voice name now the next thing is that so we have to just pass that voice name here so it takes a parameter called voice and here we have to just pass that voices voice index okay i think now it should work so if we try to run the application if we write something here try to speak hi there how are you okay now if we change the voice hi there how are you so you can see the voice is being changed actually okay yeah so you can see the voice is actually being changed so i'll remove this console log so basically what we have done is that so we have created a drop down so we are getting all the voices so this voices this has all the voices list that is supported by this library and what we are doing is that we have created a drop down and basically we are looping through that voices and uh, we have created an index number so we have lots of voices so we have so basically we are storing the index number so whatever voice that user is choosing so we are not storing that voice instead we are storing that index number in the array so which element it is so we have the index number here and then we are storing that index number uh, in this state called voice index and then again we are using that voice index number to track that voice so here you can see uh, through that uh, list of voices we can track like which voice user has chosen so yeah so now if we refresh the screen if we write something here if we choose some different voice like this if we speak yeah so you can see the voice is working so now user has the option to choose different type of voices so now in this application what we have is that user can generate the voice but user user can actually change the like user can choose from different other voices as well but user cannot really change the rate of the voice that means the speed of the voice so let me add a option to that will allow basically to user to uh, change the speed of the voices as well so first thing i will create a state called rate i will put the initial value for called 0.1 now what i will do is that uh, basically i want to create a range slider using which user can choose different type of uh, speech rate so so let me create a slider okay 
and here I want the minimum value to be 0 0.1 and the maximum value I want it to be uh, 5 and the step will be uh, 0 0.1 actually 0 0.01 and let me make the value as rate and now whenever user is changing the value we want us you want to state the value to this okay so if we see yeah so we are getting that slider now we need to try to print the value of the slider as well so if we refresh the screen now uh, if we select the value you can see so yeah so it is working so you can see as as the user can slide between any values between you know, 0 0.1 to 5 okay so yeah our slider is working now one thing is that uh, we have to basically use that rate okay so what we can do is that pass the rate here uh, let me change the range a bit i will m make it high as one maximum is one and lowest is 0 0.1 okay i think it looks good to me let's try to test it so if we refresh the screen if we paste some text here now if we run it hi there i hope you are doing okay. great so it is what have fine. a great day now if we uh, increase the speech rate like that and now if we try to speak it hi there i hope you are doing yeah. great so it is also have a great day here. hi there i hope you are doing so great. you can see have a the, great day whatever speech rate we are choosing that speech rate is actually working let me check the language as well i will choose this thing yeah. so you can see like using this how you can create a text to speech react app and here user can choose from different types of language as well and user can user have also have the option to choose the rate of the speech that means choose the speed of the text so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also comment down your thoughts and as always thanks for watching and have a nice day